What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is preview time for France taking on Italy in the opening game of the 2021 Six Nations Tournament. It is finally here and what a weekend to look forward to in round one. France are co-favourites to win this tournament. They've chosen a young team but this young team is jelling well with the coach. Italy too have a young team and they have every opportunity to surprise us as well. Unfortunately for Italy, they've had quite a lot of heartbreak with injuries. France have also had a few injuries as well. The time of this recording, squads weren't named, but we all know that both teams will want to put up a good fight. They met on the 9th of February in 2020 and the score was only 35-22. to 22. At the stage when France were winning and were top of the log of the 2020 Six Nations log, they were performing. But we also saw Italy put 22 points on the board for a team that we all give a little bit of hell every now and then. They fought. 2021 started off crazy. We don't even know what the end outcome is. France has been in the media a few times because we're not quite sure how long or if. But luckily, the government has given them the go to play. Italy travelled to France this weekend in what should be an interesting toss-up. The last time they met, France did win. If we look at Italy's last three Six Nations results, it was 5-34 to England, 50-17 to Ireland winning, and then obviously 17-0 to Scotland away from home. Oh, sorry, at home. So the results aren't pretty, but it's their opportunity to take away history and to show the world what they can do. They're passionate, phenomenal team they might not have the results and they might have not only won a game since 2015 but they have beaten france before and although it was many years ago they have done it and with the young team building and growing we saw what france could do in the past france a few years ago weren't good at all but now there's potential now there's growth now we're seeing what a good coach and a young squad gelling together can do to a team now they're potential favorites so both teams need a big on alert both needs need to start teams need to start the games with electricity with a massive fire burning in their bones so that they can achieve what they want to achieve france has lost three games 35 27 the win over ireland big win that was 28-17 loss to Scotland. That was the shock. That was the game that pretty much put us all umming and awing because we weren't sure because we thought that Scot France were looking to win but then just as COVID hit us, this final game happened and Scotland beat France in a shocking one. Then in Feb, they started off their campaign 27-23 victory over France away from home that was still when things were a bit kosher so although the results are closer tenser games we're seeing a different team because once the order of nations cup came in france almost beat england in extra time they had the opportunity and the potential but they just couldn't do it in these type of games it comes down to what the weather is going to be like and obviously the kicking stones of how these players will do. Fly off is key. Scrum off is key. We all know that the French scrum off is brilliant. Young talent with a fire with quick pace and good controlling of the game. And if he can do that against Italy, then Italy are in trouble. Italy need to convert points, take an opportunity, discipline, and they need to not have a lot of errors happening towards their names it all comes down to how it starts now italy normally start off quite strong 
to get the points that aren't too there where it's maybe four or five or seven points difference and then they unfortunately seem to lose it in the second half that second half they tire out now obviously previously that Sergio Parisi who we all know offers a hell of a lot of experience and inspiration to the team now they have to find their own feet and a young good talent they can achieve it they just need to work together and that's what it's all about is working together getting this team to gel to follow the set pieces win your lineouts win your scrums convert your points if they can do that with a good discipline record they can put france under big pressure france on the other hand need to do the same discipline needs to be sharp if i'm not mistaken discipline wasn't one of their strengths and it cost them a few times with regards to points discipline needs to be there converting points and again you've got to win your set pieces if you allow the Italians to take advantage you're going to miss out on points and that's the important part of six nations you've got to get your bonus points you've got to get high scoring points and if France are wanting that they need to capitalize on every opportunity given to them because if they don't do that they're going to see their asses and are either going to just win or have a surprise loss like we saw in the past it's going to be an interesting game. I feel, from a preview prediction point of view, we're going to see France take on Italy. But I think it's only going to be in the second half. I think the Italians are going to take the world by storm. They're going to fight. They're going to be determined. They're going to be very up in the face of the French in the first 20 minutes. And they, I think they'll keep it. France will come back and start scoring points. Maybe take the lead. And then second half, I feel... Unless the Italians can spark early, I just feel that they are going to pick up a victory that they need in order to move forward. So for me, France are going to win this game by 10 points or more. But it's going to come down to the last 20 to 15 minutes of the game. Where I feel unless Italy continue with spark and keep up the momentum, I feel that they will just lose out and therefore give France enough to score the points that they need to get the win remember France are going in as also part favourites England are number one favourites but France we cannot count out they produced the results in 2020 they're showing the potential and they'll want to continue that going into this year so for me first game of the Six Nations tournament I'm giving it to France by 10 or more points It'll be great if I'm wrong. It'll be good for rugby if Italy can surprise us. But I just think France are going to be one step ahead. That's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all real soon for another one. Stay safe and never give up. Cheers. <laughs>